Nin explains the rules of polo. The object of the game is to score more goals than the other team. Polo is a sport that's played on horses, known as polo ponies, and is played on a field that measures a maximum of 300 yards by 160 yards. Teams consist of four players on horses, known as mounts, and they are armed with wooden mallets. All players must use their right hand only when swinging the mallet. The idea of the game is to use your mallet to hit the ball into the goal. The goal is 8 yards wide and the height is unlimited. The idea is to ride and hit the ball whilst on horseback towards the goal, and to shoot the ball into the goal before the opposing team can defend it. You can pass the ball to a teammate if required. Once a team scores a goal, the teams change ends and try and score into the other goal. Polo seems simple enough, but there's an important rule that you must understand. Line of the ball. The player who hits the ball generally has the right of way, and other players cannot cross the line of the ball in front of the player. Therefore, players must approach the opposing player on either side of the line of the ball, or from behind. Failure to do this results in a foul. The defending player can take the ball away from you in a few ways. A ride-off, where you are allowed to ride alongside the ball carrier and ease your opponent away from the line of the ball. A player can hit the ball before the ball carrier, thus giving himself the right of way. And by hooking, where a defensive player blocks the swing of the mallet with his own. The game is played in periods known as chuckers, which are 7 minutes long. At the end of a chucker, play continues for 30 seconds or until a stoppage of play occurs, whichever happens first. Depending on the competition, a game can be played anywhere between 4 and 8 chuckers. High score at the end of time wins. That's basically the gist of it, but there's a few other things that you need to know before playing or watching polo. For example, the players. As mentioned previously, the game is played with 4 players per team, and each player has their own unique role. The number one is the primary offensive weapon. They try and score goals and they cover the opposing number four. The number two also runs through and scores and is usually situated behind the number one. The number three is the tactical leader of the team and their job is to hit long balls towards the number one and number two. The number four is the last line of defense and is responsible for covering the opposing number one. Penalty hit. If the other team commits an infraction, a penalty hit may be awarded to the other team. Hits are taken from the 30, the 40 or 60 yard line and can be defended or undefended depending on the type of penalty being issued. Penalty Goal If a serious foul occurs, the umpire may award a penalty goal to the opposing team. The game is restarted at the spot of the foul and teams do not change ends. Throw in Also known as ball hit out, if the ball leaves the area of play, an umpire will bowl the ball back in from the sidelines in an underarm fashion. Divot Stomping During the halftime of a match, spectators are invited onto the field to help replace the mounds of earth that are dug up by the horses. This is known as divot stomping and is a great way for spectators to walk about and socialize. If you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy Polo.